Hey guys, Shane Reynolds here. I hope you're ready to get charged up because today on 30A Deep Dive, we're getting electric with my old buddy Jeff Archer of YOLO Board and Bike. So hop on and let's roll. After more than 20 years of shooting, producing, and hosting adventure travel shows for various networks, it's time for a deeper look into all the epic things I can find in and around my own backyard. I'm Shane Reynolds, and we're going on a 30A Deep Dive. You want to do it? Let's go. Today we are heading to YOLO and we are really struggling to get there through the traffic because I'm running very late for a date with an old friend to do some electrical biking. Let's dive in. Follow me. Jeff. Jay. <laughs> What's up, Hi, man? man? Good to see you. Good to see you, dude. Welcome. My old friend, Jeff Archer. The man, the myth, the Great legend, to see you, man. the owner. Man. We're gonna do some riding today. Man, I'm, I'm stoked. We've got so many trails. There's 200 miles of trails within South Walton here. The electric models have really brought all the communities closer together. And at any given day, you can go from one end to the other without it feeling like a marathon. Let's get these things geared up. I gotta put a couple cameras on. You get to wear a GoPro? Well, I must just put a GoPro on that bike. Yeah. I'm gonna put a 360 on this one. And that should pretty much cover it. Does this look obnoxious enough? <laughs> <laughs> Do you have it in level one? See over here on your left-hand side? See that plus and minus? Level one. Okay, that'll give you a little bit of a boost. And then as you want two, more, three. two, three, four. Okay. Zero's nothing, obviously. All right. Let's roll. So what's your story, man? My story, man. How, how'd you end up on 30A and doing electric bikes? Woo! You know, I've always been an entrepreneur. I started my first company in my early 20s yeah. and started in the apparel industry in Venice Beach, California. And from there, I learned how to make products, you know, and that's what I love to do. I like to make stuff. And, you know, I ended up here because at the time I moved here, I was actually, I had a, a furniture factory in Java, Indonesia that my buddy and I had built and he was living there. We were bringing back things here to 30A and building them into houses and brought in a lot of reclaimed teak flooring and things like that. And nature's my thing, man. Spent a lot of time outdoors being active, paddle boarding. When I'm not paddle boarding, generally bicycle riding was kind of like my second go-to. And uh, you know, electric bikes really honestly weren't in my initial vision. But then I just saw from being in the beach cruiser business, which we've been in for about six, seven years, that there was a need for a bike that could take you farther and faster. So we uh, started designing you know, our first couple of models of bikes specifically designed for our Walton County. You, you do this kind of thing that, that I've tried to do in my life as well, is just kind of incorporate your passion into your lifestyle. I tell everybody my, I meet, I think that's the secret. It's a sick ridge. So cool. <laughs> That's awesome. So many great little vistas like this along 30A. One of the cool things that South Walton offers is like this like low entry level adventure. You know, everything is kind of 101. Yes, yes. But 101 is off the chain. Yeah. Because yeah, exactly. nature's that cool. Exactly. You know, it only takes her 101 version to blow you away. Here's our van up over here. Yeah, we're going to ditch the cruisers. We're going to get on some big fat tires with a little bit more power and we're going to get wet. So we're going to get muddy. Let's get muddy, man. Trailhead. Yes, sir. Here we go. I'll follow you. Wow, whoa. You can power down to one chain through yeah. here. <laughs> yeah, I noticed that. And you know, a lot of times, I'll even power down completely in some of this stuff that's a lot of switchback because all you end up doing is paddle, pedal assisting yourself right into a turn. But you'll see with this bike, a little assist is a lot. Before you know it, you're flying. Books and songs are not to make you bitter. Days are long, but when your politics are literature. 
Oh, check this out. That's a nice little feature. The saw crosses a lot of wetlands through here, so you get those little runoff canals, and we start rising out and get a little bit more to the uplands. So is, there, is there talk of any development of this area? That's what makes South Walton very unique. There's only a limited amount of stuff that can be developed here. And then between the Gulf of Mexico and the state parks and the state forest, you know, it's uh, really got a lot of protected spaces. Yeah. Shane, you see all the wild rosemary we're running through? Oh yeah. I think every now and then you just have to stop and smell the rosemary. You, you, you gotta stop, I mean? exactly. Oh, <laughs> man. That's so That's cool, cool, huh? Little trail side snack. That's right. Yeah. Get, your, get your herbs. Oh man. Whoa! I'm gonna make it for it. Yeah! <laughs> Jesus. This is... Yeah. I'm gonna make it. God. Nailed it. I, I just felt, I feel like I need to redeem myself. That was Who really bad. Who are you yourself? All right, if you're gonna redeem yourself, <laughs> I gotta redeem myself too. You got it. Yeah. Here. That other one was weak. Yeah. We would have been very embarrassed with I, that other. I, I wouldn't call that strong. <laughs> no. I'll live with it. <laughs> Oh, epic, man. Let's ride. Thinking of this as the next Aspen of anything may sound strange at first. I mean, after all, sea level humidity is the opposite mental image most would have of the Rockies. But the second your tires hit the soft, sandy, snow-white beaches of 30A without sinking, it makes perfect sense. Only here, you're riding the bike and the lift at the same time. In many ways, it's better, because for now, it feels like you're the only one in the world doing it. And that's a rare feeling to experience in a destination location. But that's what makes adventure so special. The deeper you go, the more you can surprise yourself and discover things that you never knew existed. <laughs> I got drenched. Totally worked. <laughs> Man, you totally got drenched. Got drenched. Jeff. Thanks, brother. My buddy. That was a lot of fun, man. It's my boy. That was a 38 deep dive, right? That was a deep dive, man. And I tell you what, there's a bunch more trails for us to go check out. So let's not make this our last ride together. Yeah. And we'll get out there and get wet again. Absolutely. You guys make sure to subscribe. There's a lot more coming. Hit the bell button, share it. Boom.